Hey, my name is Saj Awan, also known as Sajtron, and I'm here at Convex 2019. And uh, the first thing I want to showcase is the Pet Picks 2.0, made by uh, Michael Hill from the Bay Area in California. And uh, here I've got the uh, Commodore 64C in the new German case. Um, so what we're, we're going to do here is the Pet Picks 2.0 uses the new Raspberry Pi 3 Beat Plus, I believe. And uh, right now I'm booting it, so we gotta wait till it boots a little bit before we turn on the Commodore. So here we got the Raspberry Pi, and then these uh, circuits here are the actual Pepix version 2.0. You can see the date, 2019. I believe this is the second one available in the world. It's very glary. That yeah, might be there. <laughs> and uh, okay, so I think we. We've waited long enough. We could start booting the uh, Commodore. Turn it on. So we got to do the uh, the bootloader now. So we hit Run Stop Shift. We hold down the Commodore key, and it says there Pet Picks 2.0 ready. So we we activate it by clicking that button. Now it says Loading Bootloader. Look how much glare from the lights around here. Okay, so it says search found. It's lo it's ready. It it's found the bootloader. So now we got to load the menu. There we go. We run it. So this is actually the uh, the playlist. Uh, we've got real MP4 files. Like if there's a SD card inside the Raspberry Pi, I could literally take the SD card out. Play it on the PC, and you'll see these are regular MP4 files. Um, so what's going to happen is this is a, a playlist where I could play all the files, and what's great is it'll jump from one to the other. I don't have to do anything, and it, when it reaches the end, it just loops right back to the beginning. So it's pretty cool. You could just like start it and just let it play all day, and uh, it's really cool for visuals. So now we're going to we're going to play the first file. So what I did was I, I, I ripped a lot of YouTube 80s trailers from iconic 80s movies. So here we go. Here's the first one. This is one of our favorites, Breakfast Club. So what's going on here is the Raspberry Pi is decoding the video frames. So it's doing all the dirty work. It's lowering the resolution to 320 by 200. And then it maps the images to the 64, the Commodore 64 16 color palette. And then it's it's, the, it's sending the video into the uh, user port through the bus. And uh, just to show you here what's going on, uh, it's, this is actually not going into the user port, but the way I put it here, you can see what's really going on. The bus cable is going into this piece here. So it's actually three components. It's this part, this part here, and then this part here into the Raspberry Pi. So here we got our, the next video, the Commodore, famous Australian Commodore ad. Yeah, in the glorious uh, Commodore 16 color palette. So yeah, this is real time. This is not pre-done or anything like that. So what, what's happening now is it's, it's sending the, uh, the video as fast as it can through the user port. And then there's a play routine inside that plays everything back uh, as fast as it can, and then it throws it out, and then it accepts the next frames. And that's what it's just doing, as fast as it can. Uh, not much room for a SID track or anything like that. So it's using all the resources to do this. But it's just so cool to see your favorite video into the Commodore. And what's really cool is you can actually, there's no limit to the length of the video. You could play a full two hour movie through the Commodore. Uh, it, uh, really the limitation is the, uh, the capacity of your SD card. This is an 8 gig SD card, so you, you can put a lot of videos in this one. But here's a Tron where he's going to get zapped into the MCP. Yeah, so very cool. Very cool way to show retro videos. Yes, it's excellent.
You ready for the next one? Yes. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. So these are all the, the musical sit instruments that I have here to showcase. So uh, this next one is the qualamin. This is a really fun instrument. This is probably the scariest sound you'll ever hear from the sit. <laughs> um, so this is another 64C with a clear case. Uh, everything here is clear. As you can see, the monitor is clear. So the whole theme on this one is clear. You've got clear, clear speakers, clear joysticks. we got a clear mouse. Everything's clear. The ultimate is clear. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start here. So everybody knows about the koala pad. It's, it's the drawing instrument. Um, you draw here and then it comes out on the screen. But for this application, we're using it to control kind of like a theremin, but we call it here the koalaman. So here we go. So here we got all the parameters. We got the X, Y coordinates, the sit voices, and all the triangle, square, soft tooth waves. We've got the filter settings. So with the with the, uh, the second joystick, I could select presets. Next up we got the, uh, the floppy drums, 87. So basically this was originally a joystick drum machine. And after like a day I got tired of the joystick. So I figured I wanted to like hit on some actual drums. So I basically took all the guts out of the Atari joystick and extended it to some floppy disks. And to so, so this is a, what is this called again? What program are you running here? This is originally called the Ghetto Drums 87. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're using uh, number two pencils here, and uh, there's tin foil here because these are actually the grounding cables. <laughs> when you move the joystick, there's a ground attached to it. So these are the ground cables. Uh, how are you interfacing this in? So it's, yeah, it's going in through the joystick. It's an actual oh, joystick. Oh, okay. It's a real joystick. So it thinks it's the joystick. It's the <laughs> So I extended the wires, each movement, to these little forks here, and they're going into the metal, only the metal plates are working. And then to add that 80s vibe, I added some cassette tapes on the back. <laughs> so, here, so here we go. Oh, yeah. And this cartridge is... Oh, that's just the, uh, a joystick switcher. So it, oh, okay, got it. switches it. from A and B, but this is actually being used for this as well. Okay, so, right. And this is uh, the Australian rare case, at least in the 80 right. aftermarket case. Uh -huh. Just if you were curious what that was. So here we go. Oh, we got some effects there. Here we go. So you can play your drums here. This is my cymbal, so I took a I took the inside of a floppy, ripped it out, and made a cymbal out of it. So those are the five sounds: uh, up, down, right, and left. And then this is the fire button. <laughs> And then uh, I got another five sounds on the second joystick bank, so I just click the switch. So instead of taking the joystick out, you just get one of these units and you just push the button. Bank. Yeah, so you could add effects to it and make it, you know, you can do some cool stuff.
Yeah, so there you go. That's the, uh, the drum kit. And then over here, this is... Um, here, we can see the screens here. So this is the uh, synth car program running off the, uh, the Kerberos MIDI card. Oh, okay. So this is the Kerberos version, the 2.0. Oh, so this okay. is a little more enhanced yeah. version for, th for this cartridge. Mm -hmm. And this is like the really rare elbow cartridge with a reset switch. And uh, this is the, the overlay keyboard that has the, uh, I think it's called the magical keyboard overlay, something like that. And this goes over, well, it only fits on the 64 bread, but it won't fit on a 64C or a 128. So this is pretty neat. So here, you could play all the sit channels. Three songs. You could pitch bend. You could also do arpeggios. different uh, sound banks. How powerful you can get that city sound. You got filtering over here. You also got a little visualizer going on on the screen over here. Yes. And if you really want to get deep, you hit return and you got unlimited parameters here. There's so many things you can actually do. It also has a MIDI capabilities with this version only, the 2.0, where you can use this interface and hook it up to MIDI. Um, so we'll go back here. You can play three notes at once, make some chords. This is another arpeggio. nice pads there. The SID, you can, uh, it's an analog sound chip, so it sounds really nice and warm. There we go. SID Instruments. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.